express your creativity to the glory of God. Enjoy watching. Hello everyone, Samantha here. This is part two of Draw with Glue in my Rectus Journal book. So yesterday I drew with the glue and I had, um, I drew these hearts, like heart flowers. So here are like the leaves on the side here. I don't know if you can really see it. I wrote the word love here and then there are some hearts here and some smaller hearts. So, um, I guess I could have just left it like that, but, um, I don't want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these three paints, the red, the green and pink, and I'm going to stemple it. And what's supposed to happen is the glue is supposed to act like a resist. So um, I know I need to get me a nap, um, a, a, wipe, a wipe. I'm going to have to wet this wipe a bit. Okay. And so, and I'm going to use this stemple, stempling brush. It's not like a very expensive brush, so I'm thinking the hairs may come out. I'm not sure. But if it does, I'll just pluck it off. But this is just the play in this journal. Um, so I figure what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to... It's not supposed to look all pristine. So I'm going to do the hearts. I'm going to do the hearts first. I'm trying to figure out, should I water it down a bit? I think I will. Okay. So, I'm going to do the hearts. I'm just going to stemple. Stemple, 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 stemple. I know at some point I'm supposed to be able to wipe that glue off. We'll see what happens. I mean, wipe the paint off. The um, glue, the dry glue. I did this technique before a long time ago when I used to um, do mixed media morsels with cat hand. Um, I'm going to see if I can put that. I think I have a video of it. I'm not sure, but I think I do. See if I could put that video in the description section. If I can locate it, I probably can. I think I um what you call it recorded it. So that's that. The hearts. Right? Um this one is redder than the other ones, and then I'm gonna stemple this in, right here for love. Right, so I'm trying to think if when I did this the last time, um, a while ago, I'm trying to think that I used gesso. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't think I did. I think the glue itself enough, the glue dried, was um, resist enough. I think so. So here is the white. Let me put it a bit because it's not that moist. And I should be able to... See, I know I have to be careful because of the paper. Yeah, I want to be careful. I don't want to mess this up. My might rip the book, um, the paper. I probably should have put down... Okay, let me just see. Okay, I can see a little bit of... You can see a little bit of it coming up. Yeah. So there it is on the letters. It's coming up. So I'm think I think you can see it somewhat. Yeah, it's coming up. It's just that I know I have to be careful because of this this is paper and you know, before when I did this, I think I did it on a harder card than this. But I'm just going to still go ahead and try. Just take my time so I won't rip the paper. 
But it sure is coming up. It, it did resist it. Let me see. Let me go up here and see. what. Oh, you know what? Let me try this. Let's see what happens. Yep. Just wet it. Okay. That's better. But again, got to be really careful because it is paper and... Yeah. Yep. So it came up a little bit. <laughs> so... Let me see. Okay. I think I'm going to leave that alone. Let that dry a bit. And maybe I'll come back once it dries. So let me come over here and see what will happen. Let me spray that. It don't seem like it's, um, yeah, it's coming up. It's just that. Yeah, there it goes. Wow. Okay, let me come over here and see. Yeah, it's just that it's this is paper, so the way that um let me see. I'm still gonna go ahead and keep on trying. Wow. You can I can see it on this and I don't know if you can see it. That it is resisting it um but I just can't rub the way I would like to rub because of um the paper itself but it, I see the glue I see this paint is coming off so you know what I think I want to do I think I'm gonna try instead of using the baby wipe I'm going to go on the glue itself. Ah, look at that. Yeah, I'm going to go on the glue. And, um. Take some of the glue off. Some, some of the paint off. So you can see, like, it, it is resisting. The, um, paint, the glue. Oh, that's that one. You can see it's a heart. And then let me see if I can get it up once I do that. Okay, look at these over here. Oh, my God. So, it's not really working all that well. Oh, yes, it is. Because um, the more I wet it. But the paper is getting so wet. That's okay. <laughs> the, it's coming up off the glue though. Good thing this is wrecked my journal. Okay. Try this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it and then come back. And, um, oh, look at that. Oh, that's coming off a lot right there. Okay. So, yeah, I see it. It's just that it's, um, oh, wow, that's coming off a lot too. All right, so it's working. Yeah. That's because I put so much water just now. It really is coming up off of the glue. Wow. I'm still going to stemple some more. I'm going to dry and stemple. So what I'm going to do is for the rest of the video, I'm going to play some music and speed this up. And then see what it comes out like at the end. All right. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Remember, Jesus loves you. Oh, let me just say, too, I believe that, you know, like on a card, this would be much better. And again, I am going to try to leave the... um. The other video in the description section. So, all right. So, this is like a journal to play and have fun. So, let's see what happens towards the end. All right. Again, thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.
Okay, so I'm back towards the end. And of course, it's going to look messy. I'm just playing around in my Rectus journal. So this page is kind of wrecked, but I like that technique. Draw with glue. And I just took it a step further. And so that's the result. So um, a person can do this type of technique. Um, with one color, you know, where you don't have to worry about everything getting brown and, you know, just actually drawing with some glue all over the page and then painting it and then rubbing off the paint and the glue will resist the paint so you'll be able to get the paint up. I would suggest doing it on some type of um, mixed media um paper or some um watercolor paper because as you see i had to put a lot of water and um it buckles a lot because of all the water and but this is a regular paper journal so what this says it says trace your hand so maybe i'll do that one too okay so yeah i'm gonna do this one it says trace your hand <laughs> well Oh, okay, my, I'll do it like this. Oh, maybe I'll turn it here and do it this way. Yeah, I'll do it this way. That. Yeah, I'll do that. I like this journal. It's just really relaxing. It's for fun. And trace it again. And like in the beginning of the book, you know, the fun thing is like you can go go out of the box. You don't have to do exactly what it says there. So I like that. And I'm going to put, I'm going to write something there. I really, really enjoy it. I really, okay, I'm going to put, I really enjoy Bible journaling. <laughs> Just for fun. So, a little quirky, fun, and wreck this journal. I like that. Trace your hand. I did it upside down. And um, that's it. So that's a technique actually transfer over to another, to a um, a art acti a art um activity. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. God bless you, and remember, Jesus loves you. Bye bye.